What is going on everybody? We're back with the Millionaires video. And in this video, I'm on my main account and I want to do um a video for to give tips, five tips for beginners. Since in the last video that I posted, I did five mistakes to avoid for a beginner. I want to do five tips this time. And I want to do I'm going to mention things that are different from the previous video because I could just mention those again and give them as tips, you know, correct those mistakes and use that as tips type of thing. But I want to do five different ones. Um, and these tips are stuff that helped me a lot. And yeah, let's just get right to it. The first one is probably the, I think the biggest tip that I can give you guys and it's, and it's who to attack. Um, I mentioned this in a few of my videos on my road to diamond account. Um, yeah, choosing who you you're going to attack is super important. For example, let's go, I'm going to go to one of my cities over here. Uh, this one. So there are certain people that you don't want to attack. Um, you typically want to attack people that are around your same gear or weaker. Weaker gear. And I'm saying gear, not KP, not city levels, none of that. I'm saying gear. Um, so for example, this guy... He's way higher geared than me. Um, we'll scout him. Look at the report. Yeah, he uh, he has 274 um, defense. Look at his salvager, 509%. Yeah, this guy is way higher geared than me. Um, if I were to attack him, I wouldn't benefit that much from him. Yeah, that's a level 103. Boom, that's a lot of XP. Oh man, it'll be nice. But I'm not going to benefit too much of him. His Guardian's too high. Um, and if his, his if his Guardian's that high and his Salvager's that, that's high, then I can only imagine how how high his Rusher is. So he's going to be super fast. So he could probably make it to there in time. Still multi-scout. See if uh, he has any troops nearby. Uh, so he doesn't have any troops nearby. But... That doesn't mean that he can still, let's say I attack this one. Okay, I successfully took a 103. Um, he's probably already sending probably troops already to one of these cities back here. I attack it anyways. I take that city, get a good bit of XP, nice, juicy XP, very nice. But I'm going to lose out on a decent bit of troops. Uh, I don't have... Yeah, I, I have enough to take that city, no problem. But I'll lose out. Probably 20%, 25% of, uh, of troops, and I, I don't want to lose that much. That's a big loss for, yeah, a good bit of XP, but it's a big loss on troops. Also, I risk the chance of him um, walling me because he's going to be super fast. Um, he's he's got to be around 900% rusher, maybe more. He's going to be fast. Um yeah, and I'm not as fast. <laughs> uh, um, no, there's he'll he, there's a big chance that he'll wall me. He's a bad target for me. I'm not gonna attack him. Uh, let's go back to my home. So then I'm around people that are around my gear level. You know these people I can attack. Um, I I you you want to try to find people that are around your same gear level. Let's scout. Let's scout, Mr. Abra. All right, so we're going to scout him, look at the report. So he has 113 Guardian, 124 Salvager, 47 Cautious. So if we were to look at my stuff, um, yeah, so we're about the same. I'm 150 Guardian, 160 Salvager. So I'm a little bit higher than him, but the, he's a good target for me to attack. You know, he... he 
we'll probably come out even in a in a war here um which which is good even or better is good than just consistently losing <laughs> so he, choosing your target is definitely super important don't go after people who are just crazy beasts don't go after the top players you know going after somebody like this that that's just suicidal um you don't you don't want to do that you don't want to go after top players as a new player um so that's my biggest tip for you guys just choose people who are around your same gear level or worse um don't go after the top players um another tip would be I've, I've done a video on this so i'm not going to touch too much on it but is um when to spend your gold and how to spend your gold you don't want to spend your gold while you're attacking people you don't want to do that you want to always spend your gold when you're done for the day when you're just done either for the day or you're done for a few hours you know that's when you want to spend your gold you don't want to use it while you're attacking because then the person that you're attacking is going to turn pink or he'll fall out of 200 percent a lot quicker you know you want to be able to take as much cities as you can before you spend um your gold um i do have a more in-depth video on how to spend your gold definitely check that out um another tip that i'm going to give you guys this is probably my this uh, my tips are a little out of order but this is probably my second biggest tip is buy weapon master <laughs> just buy it it's the it's so good um either save your sapphires or spend a little bit of money to get um a thousand sapphires and buy weapon master weapon master is so good um otherwise you will have to be consistently switching your gear and if you're done attacking you know you'll have to choose whether you want to switch to defense gear let's say you're going to go to sleep for six to eight hours or ten hours however long you sleep um and you're not going to play the game for that long so you're going to have to choose whether you want to be in your defense stance so when people attack you you know you gain as much salvager as much gold as you can um or do you want to be in your production uh, not only gold but your seven your brave your 75 percent of your brave that's based off your defense stance um or you'll have to choose or do i want production do i want to get my troops to be producing at a high rate or my gold at a high rate uh i i recommend you know you have troop gear on instead of gold gear but you know you have to choose between the two that's a, that's a hard choice for six to ten hours depending how long you sleep that's you know that's a good bit of if you choose defense dance that's a good bit of troops that you could have produced i'm oh i thought i was being attacked um we'll ignore the attacks if i'm being attacked because i'm doing a video um but yeah six to ten hours and you choose to be log out in your defense gear then that's six to ten hours of true production that you miss in my case is i have 150 percent so um six to ten hours of 27.6 million troops per hour that's that's a good bit of troops let's say i went to sleep for 10 hours that's 276 million troops that i lose out on you know but then again if i log out on true production then i lose out on all this the 114 percent salvager that i could be getting from from the cities that i may lose while i'm asleep you know that's a good bit of money you know sometimes when i log out for a few hours and i log back in i have like 10 g of gold with my salvager that's a lot of that's a lot of money that i could be missing out on if i were to log out in my troops gear so definitely recommend get weapon master if you're gonna get any advisor get weapon master try to get that it's so helpful so good all right my other tip tip number four 
is your recruiter bonus. Right now, mine's at three seventy nine mil, three hundred seventy nine mil. Uh, gosh, three hundred seventy nine million. Why could I not say that? <laughs> oh man, but don't collect that. Um, I'm in my main account. I I already collected it a couple times, but that's only because I have enough recruiter to to make it back. But don't collect that until the troop recruiter event. Um, this was to me back back in um, when I started playing this game this was the only event that I could not do I never could complete it I struggled so hard to complete this one it was to me the hardest one and then I ended up asking um, people in global people in my clan like how can I complete this event I can never complete this event no matter what I do I can't complete it I just couldn't and what they told me was, don't collect your recruiter bonus. Don't collect it until the event. Now, when the event starts, I, I ha I, on my main account anyways, I ha always have enough saved up on my troop recruiter bonus to where when I collect it the very first time, as soon as it starts, boom, it's already done the event. Um, so that's why I'll sometimes collect it um, early, just... Because, you know, I'll eventually, uh, I can save up enough to complete it now. Now it's one of the easiest events to com complete. Um, so, yeah, don't collect that. It'll, it'll, I'm telling you, it'll do a world of difference. You, if you're a beginner, it'll be so much easier to finish that event. Um, so, yeah, that, that really helped me. <laughs> um, just because that, to me, is the hardest event, or was the hardest event to do back when I was new to the game all right and for the final tip and i'm gonna do a little cut for this one be right back and to the power youtube we're back no music um my fifth tip follow million lords on discord <laughs> if you're gonna follow them on any social media if you want to choose just one if you were to just choose just one i recommend on discord Discord is so helpful. Um, there's a lot of help, uh, useful information here. Um, uh, if you're ever stuck and need help or anything, you can always go to the to the tab down here, ask questions, uh, ask and answer questions. Um, there's there's a lot of super helpful people on here. Um, I definitely recommend. That's funny. It says you're the best. See, someone just got helped, and they're like, "You're the best." See, yeah, follow them on Discord. I'm telling you, you won't regret it. There's a lot of helpful stuff here. Um, if you let's say you you need an, you got into a new league and your clan is not there because your um your your clan only progresses if your leader goes on to the next um league or if he falls be um falls below the eighty percent and he gets demoted and you didn't. And your clan list, you can find um, clan recruitment here, and you can find clans here. Um, they hold special events to where you can have a chance of getting skins for your cities, or you can get codes and get some chests and sapphires. Um, there's a lot of useful stuff here, um, but the main one is since you know you're new, the main one is for you know to get help if you need help. Um, and there, there is a lot of um, very helpful people here. A lot of pro players are here that that have very, very good tips. Um, way better tips than me because I don't consider myself a pro player. You know, the tips that I give are just stuff that uh, I see that works for me. Um, they're not necessarily the best tips out there. So there's pro players here that will definitely give you way better tips than me so i definitely recommend to follow the um, million lords on discord and that is that um yeah i hope these five tips help you guys and i shall see you guys next time peace